What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Blood and Honey by Shelby Maharan. This is definitely one of the most anticipated books of the year, not just for me, but I was also looking through Goodreads and a lot of people have really been very, very excited for Blood and Honey. This is the sequel to Serpent and Dove, which if you don't remember, I lost my mind when I read that book. The tropes, the romance, the drama, like everything, it just ticked every single box of mine. So going into Blood and Honey, I was very, very excited. When we left off with Serpent and Dove, we learned a lot of things. Um, we learned that Reed is a prince and a witch, so that's pretty fun. Um, we had the showdown with Lou's mom. Uh, she was rescued, the archbishop was killed by Reed, and now all of our main characters are on the run. And the thing with Blood and Honey is that they're pretty sure that Morgan is going to strike again, that she's still coming after Lou, and the only way to stop her is to gather these allies gather these forces and to attack her first. So they're going to try to rally the blood witches, they're going to try to rally the werewolves, they're even going to try to appeal to the king, try to get him to understand that Morgan poses a threat and they need to strike first. And from the very beginning of the book, they're pretty sure that she's going to try to attack during the archbishop's funeral. So we're all kind of building up to that. That's kind of what's going on in the background because what I would say is like the main like part of the story that's really driving everything through is what's going on with Lou and what's going on with Reed. Because Reed learned a lot of things about himself that he wasn't exactly ready to learn at the end of s &D. And he also just, he spent so much of his life believing one thing only to have everything just completely destroyed. And he killed basically who he saw as his father for this girl that he doesn't even necessarily know. So to say that Reed is going through it is a little bit of an understatement. And I really liked his arc in this book. I think he really like learned a lot. I think he really like evolved and changed by the end of this book. And I was looking through Goodreads and like looking at some of the reviews because when I finished this book, I had a feeling it was gonna be a little bit controversial. And one of the things I was surprised, not surprised to see was that a lot of people didn't like Reed in this book. And I just, to that I say like Reed is angry and he's going through so much. His entire worldview has been changed and they're on the run. They can't stop, they can't think. And so many emotions are just being heightened here. And I really like the way that that was played out with Reed. With Lou, kind of a similar thing is going on. Like she was confronted with her mother again. She was confronted by the fact that her mother wants to kill her, by the fact that nobody has ever loved her. Like she was born to be a weapon and that's all that she's ever good for. And I think this line of thinking is really starting to get to Lou. And on top of that, we are learning a little bit more about magic and we're learning a little bit more about how she uses magic versus how other people use magic. And Lou is <laughs> exhibiting a lot of self-destructive behaviors. She is very depressed. She thinks very like low of herself and she is also really going through it. And there's this line like all the way through the book where like Lou is just like, it's fine. Everything's fine. We don't need to talk about it. We're not acknowledging this. Like everything is fine. So like this pressure cooker is starting to build here. And the whole time I was reading this, I was very stressed because I knew something was going to happen. I knew there was going to be a blow up. I knew things were going to go south, like something was going to happen. But I do want to say like, even though I was constantly like trying to anticipate what was going to happen, I was still surprised by the end of this book. And I have a feeling that the ending is going to be extremely controversial. Like I, I right now I'm finding it like very hard to be excited about this book because I am anticipating how many people are gonna hate this book because the ending did a lot of things. It, it did things I wasn't expecting it to do. It did things that I'm still like sitting with and like mulling over and trying to think about. But ultimately what I have to say is like, this is the middle chapter. This is a darker middle chapter. Like some people are saying that it suffers from like second book syndrome and like that's fair. But I think what's going on here is that we had a bigger focus on like the internal struggles of these characters and like we still don't know how things are going to turn out. I, I think so much is going to change when we start learning more about book three and what's going on there because with Serpent and Dove it was very clear like this book was written it was just Serpent and Dove blah 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 and then we moved into this trilogy and I do think that Shelby Mahurin is laying a lot of groundwork in Blood and Honey for what's going to come next. That's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I've already talked to somebody and from what I told her she's like I'm not going to read this book so I am expecting it to be pretty controversial, but I liked it and I'm interested. I'm still here for it. I'm really into the story and I'm still 
thinking about it. I'm still thinking about things. I'm still processing things. I'm really excited to hear what more people say as the book comes out. But overall, like I am giving this book an A minus. I think there were some weird bits in there. Um, and I do recognize that some of the choices that were made like are a little bit strange, but I kind of feel like like the reasoning for that is going to be revealed like as we go on. I could be putting too much trust in Shelby Bahrain, but like I really think we just kind of have to see where this is going to go. So I really liked it. I am giving it an A minus. Personally, I don't know if I recommend like reading on with the series. I think it's going to depend on what you thought of Serpent and Dove because Serpent and Dove can be a standalone book for you if you want it to be. If you liked where it ended and you don't want things to get messy, like you know, Blood and Honey is getting messy. Like it's getting messy with these characters. It's getting messy with their emotions and like things are going down. Like, and you may not like where that's gonna go. So just keep that in mind. I'm sorry if I'm like seeming really defensive. I just feel the need to defend myself here, but I really enjoyed it. I am giving it an A minus. And I, for one, am very excited to see where the series is gonna go from here. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!